Hello all and welcome to a, another video and today we're going to be doing something just a slightly bit different. Yes, I'm going to be opening 20 packs of these Street Fighter 2 The Movie trading cards. Now you may be asking how did I come about these? Well, me being the very responsible adult that I am, I wanted to buy two side units to house my gaming collection and before I'd even found those units, paid for them, built them, I was on eBay searching for figures and knickknacks gaming related to decorate them with. And of course, that led me to searching first one of my most favourite franchises of all time, yes, Street Fighter 2. Now, I did type the very non-expansive search into eBay, which was just Street Fighter 2. And as you can imagine, you may be shocked to hear this, but it threw up quite a few games. But at the same time, I was happy to do that because I wouldn't miss out on anything Street Fighter 2 related. And I had the time to scroll through it and potentially not miss out on anything but the first lot that came up that wasn't a game wasn't a figure or a knickknack street fighter 2 related it was a lot of someone selling two packs of these street fighter 2 the movie trading cards and it sparked my interest because i love trading cards i love opening i love the mystery behind them and i love street fighter 2 as well i even even though it's bad it's a bad film we know it's a bad film but it has that charm about it for being bad that actually makes it good and you just want to watch it well it does for me and actually the same applies for the playstation one game which was street fighter 2 the movie the game but anyway this particular seller was selling two packs of these like i say for only for, for only for six pound fifty with two pound ninety nine postage now for me two pound ninety nine postage for two packs training cards was steep and six pound fifty was a little bit steep as well but i had to bear in mind it's the first time i've come across any of these and i don't know what the value is so that led to me then searching a little bit more specifically for these cards because i say my interest was piqued i thought it's it would definitely be interesting to open some of these and see what they're like. So it led to me searching for these cards specifically, and I found a lot, which was these 20 packs for £16, and that was including free postage. So that's less than £1 a pack, including delivery, which is a much better bargain than that original lot I saw, but I've got to appreciate that original lot because it actually drew my attention to them. So we're going to start opening these, but what do we have on the front? Let's have a look. What's We've got a bit of spill there to read. We've got the excitement of the hit movie, the action of the best-selling video game, 90 card set features, dynamic scenes from the movie, game superstar cards, in-depth portraits of the stars, a look behind the scenes, randomly inserted special effects, and LE chase cards. Now, I can only assume LE stands for limited edition. Now, obviously, I'm... Don't know what they look like, so I'm, I'm assuming these special F FX cards and LE Chase cards, if I get any, are going to be instantly recognisable as different. And there you'll see we get 8 cards per pack, and I've got 20 of these. So 20 times 8 is 160. 8 times 10 is 80. 80 times 2 is 160. Yes, I do maths like a child. So we have the potential to get a full set, obviously, because... There are only 90 of the base cards, which means I, I'm definitely going to get at least 70 duplicates. So, yes, let's before we carry on, let's have who we got on the front here. We've got M. Bisonette. Don't know who that actor is, but yes, you do look a good fit for the part. And, of course, you just look good. That's Kylie Minogue there playing Cammy. And I have no idea who that actor would be playing Vega, but there's a good representation of Vega, to be honest with you, unlike some of the other characters. Blanga Dalsim, I remember you not looking that great. And of course, there's the main man, Jean-Claude, playing Guy. Now, he must not have had to audition for the role. He must have either been approached, or when he walked in, he was just like, you are the most guile-looking professional actor of the 90s, and you're a martial artist. Part's yours, mate. So, yes, there we have Jean-Claude on the front. Anything on the back? Maybe odds on the limited edition cars? No, we've got Capcom's logo there. And your usual trademarks and blah, blah, blah. Uh, 1994, these cards were made and released. So, it's time to crack on and start opening these and, and see how interesting they really are. And perhaps remember the movie, if I can. It was a long time ago since I saw it. I cannot remember it that well at all. These being four packs are quite tricky to open. Look, as if by magic we have scissors ready to go so let's just open pack number one and crack on with it and see what we got in here yes that is definitely easier than ripping them open so here we go pack number one. Oh, the excitement here we go and what have we got here i'm guessing this is a scene from the movie there we go we've got chun lee striking a pose there against bison it's about to get pounded in the face potentially and there's ryu and ken in the background what do the backs of these cards have on them 
Do they have numbers on them somewhere so we can know what we've got? Ah, yes, top left there, number 23. So, yes, I can imagine there's going to be a jump cut at the end where I work out how many I've got and how many doubles I've got. So, yes, that was Ryu and Ken there with a threatening chun -Li over Bison. Uh, okay, let's flip them around to the front. Who do we have here? There's Jean-Claude being Guile and someone I don't know, a behind-the-scenes card. They're a little bit on the flimsy side of these cards. They're not massively big or massively thick, should I say. That is card number 79. And a little bit of story there. Director, Stephen D'Souza. Pronunciations, I hope I've got them. Vega, Spain. Is this, and that's who Vega is without the mask on. Behind, um, not behind, in front of Balrog stage there, isn't it? That one. So, yes. So, obviously, first pack, so we're going to get no duplicates. Speedboat there. And something's blown up there beside it. In typical movie fashion. Here we go, card number 25. Who we got here? We've got another superstar. We've got Guile, Jean-Claude himself. Here we go, looks. Guile, Street Fight Superstar. And next to go, we've got Cammy. Nice cast to have. Who we got here? Who we got? Who we got? Am I holding it the right way up? Right way around. No, it's Vertical Robert. There we go. I have no idea who you are, and that is some contraption you are standing on there. Hang on a minute. And so we've got a duplicate in the same pack. Card number 25. Attack foiled. Hang on a minute. Are you kidding me? Well, that's not a good start. Didn't even get eight different out of eight. Number check. Yes, two number 25s. Jesus Christ. Well, we'll have a little duplicate pile over here. And uh, we'll prop some cards up that we like. I mean, who doesn't like Kanye Mano? You, you, you can, you can be over there. Okay, so that's pack one with duplicate number one already. Jesus Christ. Okay, <laughs> let's uh, shake it like an American at a, at a coffee bar. We're in a pack of sugar. Here we go. Another one chopped off. Mind your head. Accident cut Jean Claude's hair. Who have we got here then? It's uh, another picture of Jean Claude there, isn't it? Card number six, that's a low one. We've got card number 14 there. Oh dear, something painful there going on. Ah, uh, here we go. Dow Sim, looking very un Dow Sim like. Very poor likeness. There we go, card number 55. M. Bison, as I say, he does look very M. Bison like. Great choice for the role, whoever you are. I must look you up, I'm sorry. Sawada. If that is the correct pronunciation, I do not know. But yes, he was pretty much made for the film. He obviously appears in the game as well. But yes, very forgettable character in Sawada. Another card that's upside down. We've got another behind the scenes here. And we've got Kami and chun -Li there. Just looking forwards. Yes. And, oh dear, Blanca. Blanca. I remember watching this film and the geezer that played Blanca, I... Uh, it's not his fault, I would imagine, because the, the character Blanca is massively built, isn't he? So to have a Blanca look that unbuilt, which is, uh, again, not his fault, didn't really do it a good representation and was very cheesy looking at the same time, but at least they did it, I suppose. But uh, not a great <laughs> not a great looking Blanca in my eyes. And there we have Mr. Edmund Honda as well. That's not a bad representation. And the stage behind him looks very much like his stage as it does there. In fact, that is almost, that is the game graphics itself as opposed to a set from the film. So we're two down and we only got one duplicate, which was in the same pack. Here we go. Cut his hair off again, potentially. Oh, there we go. Well, that's not a duplicate. That's somebody waking up out of bed. What card number is that? Number 15, the Ruse Morgue. Yep, okay. Don't know a lot about that, so we'll just skip past that rather quickly and awkwardly. Kicking some army men in the face. Who have we got here? Yes, we've got her. Yep. Really perhaps should watch this movie again before I did this, but never mind. We shall press on. Guile. So Jean-Claude. Oh, Ken. Two cards stuck together. There we go. Ken and Guile. Okay, so we get, we get these cards with uh, perhaps with uh, 
a real life background and also a staging background. However, that's not Gile's stage. That is M. Bison's stage. So that is rather random. And card number 58. Although, am I cursing it by saying I haven't seen some more duplicates here? Ryu versus Vega. A battle I didn't really enjoy much in Street Fighter. It's always one of the trickier ones I found. The guy was just too bloody quick for me at times. And talking of Ryu Nemesis, there's the uh, the original, the scar on the chest through a dragon punch at Sagat. Looking uh, rather sad there as well, at least in front of his own stage. Unlike Guile, Guile was stuck in Thailand. Behind the scenes, look at that nice overall car set, that's got to be a high number. He says 88 out of 90. So far we haven't got any of these potentially limited edition chase cards, so... Let's press on and try and get one. Let's press on and try and get one. Okay, next pack. Who have we got here this time? Yep, I think that's Vega. We haven't had that one. What have we got here? Oh, this scene I have definitely seen. No pun intended there. So we'll pop that over there on the duplicates. There's a face-off between... Good guy and bad guy of the film. Guile versus Bison is about to happen, I reckon. And who we got here? Chan Lee striking a pose in front of a temple. And there's Guile himself just striking a pose. Is that a low number? No, 40. There we go, another behind the scenes card. Oh, don't they look nice? Very posh. Edmund Honda, we've not long seen this card, so that can go over there. We've got something with a question mark on the back. Sawada's back again. Uh, that's a different Sawada card from the other one with an E-Honda background. Obviously, he doesn't have his own ba own background, I suppose, being as he was made for the movie and only appeared in the movie of the same title when it comes to game. Okay, next up. Let's try and whip through these a little bit of a faster pace now. Good old trusty scissors. Thank you very much. Okay, another pack on the floor. Oh, have I seen that one before already? Potentially, I think I have. That's going in that part. In that pile. Why is there always one backwards after the first one? What have we got here? What have we got here? Bison on a platform, looking down on everybody, with a map preparing potentially for world domination. Ha ha! You will be foiled. Okay, a little bit of a fight going on there. Is that Blanca holding up Guy by the throat? It's a bit hard to see with that misty background, but I haven't seen that card, so that's going in that pile definitely. And we have Ken. Again, have I seen? I've seen April. Oh, that could. Wow, it's amazing how you forget so quickly. Potentially a duplicate, but I'm going to put it in there in case it's not that. We've had any Honda car, but we haven't had him looking that angry at me. So he's going in that pile. That looks like another E Honda. This is an E Honda. What? Again? Really? I understand you're going to get duplicates, but putting him in the same pack is is a bit low. It's a bit low. Duplicate over here. Okay, Vega, I think I've seen that car before, and I know I've seen that car before, because we discussed that, as to how, how unfortunate he can't be that built about. So yes, yes, we have seen, oh, uh, we've seen, didn't you? Yeah. Well, at least I know I've seen it now, it comes up another time. There we go, another pack. Right, let's see what we got here. Throw that on the floor with the rest of them. Look at them all standing there. Prepare to battle. Okay, I haven't seen that one. I haven't seen no limited edition or special effects card, I think. So, yes. A uh, very uninspiring picture, to be honest with you. Yep. <laughs> I won't say about that one either. There he is. Look at that. Christ, what is that growth on your head? That does not look normal. And why does your chest hair not match the colour of your actual hair? Okay, I haven't seen that one before. I would have remembered that. There's John claude striking his round one fight pose before we actually fight, so I would imagine. And there we have. Yes, I will run at you, Sagat. Ryu there, taking on Sagat, Street Fighter. Right, behind the scenes, another one. It's just a set photo there. What number's that one? 78. So, yes... Another behind the scenes photo. Some geezer that isn't Bison on Bison's little platform. He won't be angry if he sees you doing that, you know. You want to be careful, my friend. Okay, next pack. Let's go. Getting lots of different ones. So I'm going to... 
I'm going to edge my bets and probably put the mockers on this by saying I'm going to get a full set out of this, you know. Right, we've not long seen that card, so we're going to get that card again in this pack, I suppose. Oh my god, what the hell? Don't you? How can you mock yourself and then get it right? Really? That's now three times they've done that. That's now three times they've done that. What the... Yes, uh, is that Chun Li reporting? I'm not entirely sure. T Hawk. Is, the first, is that the first time we've seen T Hawk, or have I just not realised it's T Hawk? There's T Hawk there, standing in front of what I believe is Zangief's stage, which is a tiny bit random. We've had a Sagat card, but we haven't had Sagat trying to pull some sort of um, sexy pose there with his face side on. Okay, that's a bit disturbing. Next up, what have we got? I've seen that one before. Everyone, uh, Bison there, trying to hold things up from the floor. We've definitely had that one. Have we? Yeah, we've had that one too. And we've had that one too, because I spoke about how the background is not his, but he doesn't have one. Okay, here we go again. On the floor, on the floor. Whip the cards out. I'm not going to suggest that the first card I'm going to get twice again. Although I feel like I've already done it. Nope. Right. That one I haven't seen before. Gar there, all dressed up for duty, speaking to someone who looks very important. He must be. He's carrying a briefcase under his arm. So the guy that's in the pile of definitely not a duplicate. And then we've got Frosty Cold Stage there. Fight between Blanca and what Gar again. And what have we got here? What have we got here? Oh, Bisonese nice Platform. I, I mentioned that earlier about how he was looking down on people with his world map ready for domination. Oh, that is... Card number two. I remember as a kid when you got card number one, you felt it was special, but probably it really wasn't. Okay, there is T-Hawk. T-Hawk's quite uh, not as built as he is in the game as well. But uh, definitely haven't seen that one, so you definitely go in that pile. Uh, I've seen a Vega card. I cannot remember if, it's, if it is that one. You've got a bit of an arch going on in your back there. That must hurt. And uh, Ken. Ken again. Ken Masters. Ken Masters. Uh, I think I've seen that one. I have definitely seen that one because we remember him not smiling in the last one. So like, cheer up, mate. Could never happen. Probably has. And we've definitely seen that one too. Okay, so the definite doubles or duplicates are rolling in now. So let's move on to another part. I haven't been counting. I really should have been counting. But oh, we've seen that one. Yes, kicking people in the face. Well done. But, you know, they're just trying to do their job, mate. I hope they've got... Uh, they're part of the union. Um, okay, what have we got here? Oh, this stage here we've definitely seen ten times. And old Archie back Vega, which we've seen. E Honda, which we've seen. Oh, Sawada. Jesus Christ, these cars are sticking together. Mind you, they are several years old. So we have definitely seen that pose of E Honda. I'm not. Did we see that one at the beginning? Not quite sure. Not quite sure. So just go in that pile to be safe. That pile is getting quite big. There's probably at least 90 cards in there, and I don't think there's a full set. Oh, is this a, it's a little bit of a foily thingy going on here? Number 61. Is that a limited edition chase? I thought they might have been numbered outside of their numbers, so I'm not sure. But we've got definitely got a little bit of a foil going on there. So, uh, yes, let's... Oh, 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 excuse me. Look, they were two cards stuck together. So, Guile versus M. Bison. SF1. So there we go. That is some kind of limited edition or sp ah, special FX. That's what SF means. So it's not a limited edition chaser, but we got one. So let's pop that over here. Because we've that's our first one. Isn't that nice? Uh, Chun Li, but um, Cami managed to make a cameo. There we go. Puns, I've got them. Uh, did we drop a card here? I don't think I've got that Ryu either. And he's in front of Ken's stage. What are you doing, man? Get your own stage. You you have got your own stage. So how many packs have you got left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're just about to hit the halfway mark. Oh, here we go. We are going to pick up the pace. He's already said that once, but he has a knack of waffling. Sorry. Oh, that we haven't seen. Or have we? That's going to go into that part just in case. Um, what have we got here? Hope we can hold it the right way up. We have seen this card at least three times now. Um, I think I've seen that face off as well at least once. Edge on the side of caution, why not? I'm gonna have to sort these out afterwards anyway. Everyone hiding behind a bush and some hay, talking to E Honda. Zangief. Oh, oh, we haven't had any 
Zangief cards. Specifically, Zangief on his own, that is. Not that I've been paying attention to if he's been randomly in the background. But we haven't had that card, so let's go into this large pile over here, which is uh, getting rather springy. Uh, can't remember if we had that guard profile. I will now if it turns up again. That is a very full-on facial view of Ken. And he's, at least he's in front of his own stage. Ryu was uh, stealing your spot there earlier, mate. Uh, we've seen this E-Honda a few times. And I believe I've already judged that Sawada card once or twice. However, is he wearing something different? See, a lot of these cards are very samey, so it's hard to tell. So I'm going to put that card in there just to be a little bit precautious. Here we go. Trim the top of your hair again. Nice pile of empty packets down here. There we go. I think we've already seen her because I didn't actually quite know who it was. Will it tell me on the back? Two cards stuck together again. What have we got? chun -Li, Dressed to Kill. There we go. Trying to make her look slutty. There we go. Right. What have we got here? That is a guy just about to jump over a desk. It's a bit random. This dude, what's happened to this dude? Is he falling out of the sky? Wow. Okay. Assassin Among Us. Oh, I thought it was card number one then. Got really excited. It's not. It's a seven. I haven't been looking at numbers. I may actually have card number one. That's a bison card I haven't seen. I feel like looking at numbers all the time now. We've got 36. Is he levitating in that? He's looking very angry at least. Cammy. Ah, ah, there we go. Look, we definitely have that one. I, I popped her in the background because we all like to look at Kylie Minogue. Well, us men do. Chun Li striking a pose. I think I said that last time, so I've potentially already seen this one. And we have what we got here. Guy talking very pointing thing. It's rude to point. Do not do that in front of those white barrels. Do not do that. A meeting of minds. Yeah, I haven't seen that one. So that goes into that pile. That is Dowsim, at least looking a little bit more Dowsim-like than the other photo. I said that he didn't really look very Dowsim-like. Although he looks like he's got um, some wounds to his head there, potentially. And he's in front of his own stage of those screeching elephants. We all remember that noise, don't we? If we played the game. And we have seen this one as well. We have definitely seen this behind-the-scenes card as well. So, next pack. We've only got one special. We've got one special effect. So, have we got any LEs? If I have missed them and thrown them into the normal pile, I will certainly pick up on that at the end. Okay, the frosty fight we have had. Uh, leader of the pack. Leader of the pack. There's the boat again. Last time we had a bomb blown up beside it. So, we've got, so we've got two cars with the boat because you can never have enough pictures of the boat, I suppose. Oh, a checklist. A checklist. There we go. 90 to 1. Well, 90 to 1. 1 to 90 checklist. We definitely haven't seen that. Is, is, is it numbered itself? Yes, it's card number 90. Uh, Del Sim. There we go. Yes, the one that I said earlier didn't look a lot like Del Sim. And the other one, he actually shaved his head. Even though maybe that's why he's bleeding from it. Who knows? Kylie, there we go. Look at you. I definitely haven't seen that one. Yeah, yeah, your turn to strike a pose. Round one, fight. A dramatic hugging dive. E Honda versus Zangief. Okay, I definitely haven't seen that one. Who have we got? DJ! It's the first DJ. Why am I randomly excited about a DJ card in front of Blanca stage? Yes, DJ. I haven't definitely not seen a DJ card, so that's new. And behind the scenes, uh, Temple. Lots of palm trees. Looks rather warm. Card number 75. There we go. Okay, motoring through. We are definitely in the back 10. If I had, didn't have these scissors, you could add another about 10 minutes already onto this video. These look quite hard to open. Definitely haven't seen that one. That's going in the pile of first timers. Oh, 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 again, the age of these cards is causing them to stick together. Uh, another boat. We like cards of boats, don't we? So yes, haven't had that boat image. And we've got Guile telling off some new recruits, perhaps. Or is that Ryan and Ken, I think, actually, potentially, with peas on their chest? Uh, were you pre-owned from game or something? What's that going on about? Okay, the insiders. Getting to hold off. Whoa, they've done it again. They've done it again. We haven't seen this Ken here, who looks like he's just won, perhaps. I don't know. The loser goes defeats. Oh, maybe he's just got up after losing. I don't know. Maybe I should read that. Pause it. And read if you wish, but um, I'm not going to, to read it. That just takes too long. Guile, Guile. 
Uh, I only need one of these. I don't need two. That is like the fourth time you've done that to me. We've seen that and judged him for bleeding on the head already. Well, not judged him. We've noticed, noted it. Perhaps cut himself shaving, as we've now learnt. And we've already joked about this chun -Li with this Cami here because we, she's there. She's making her Cami. Oh, puns again. I've got them. We are down to... We've got to be down to... Well, we are past 10, so we're definitely down to single digits in these card openings. And as to the pile of open cards there below me, we have got this stage, which we have seen several times. I must have that one the most. We will... When we do our jump cut towards the end, we'll see which double we've got the most of. I, I, my, I predict that one. Vega again with his mask in the air victory. I think I have seen that one as well. We've got Zangief there looking, uh, I don't know, looking like he's about to eat. Are they, is that, are they in front of a table? Are they looking very suited up as well for some reason. Some formal dinner. Balrog card. We haven't seen a Balrog card. Yes, that uh, attire is very matching of the game. I mean, they... I feel like I've got 90 cards over already. I've clearly thrown some down a couple of times. That is a card I haven't seen before. I know that. That is Vega taking on Ryu, is it? Steel Claw versus Tron Will. Okay. Yep. They're about to have a fight. Who have we got here? Vega in front of Balrog stage. I feel like I've already said that. So that can go in the double pile. Haven't seen that, you lucky devil getting to hold Kylie Minogue in a position like that. And then we've got this card we've definitely seen, so duplicate pile over here. You go. Definitely haven't seen this one before. Will we get the full set? Will we get the full set? We still have six packs remaining, so we're nearly in the final five. Okay, scissors slipping out my hand a little bit. I don't know why, maybe it's the excitement. Okay, more cards. We have... Report Chun Li. Have we had Report Chun Li? And I've looked at so many cars now. I'm struggling to remember. So here we go. Oh, we definitely haven't seen this one behind the scenes. Isn't that nice? Everyone having a cuddle. We were just fighting for the film. There we go. Behind the scenes. Yep, definitely needed you. Uh, this one we have definitely seen a couple of times now. Yeah, we've seen you in front of Thailand. I said that earlier. What have we got here? Oh, who died? Looks like he's covering up a dead body. But we haven't seen that one. Uh, I don't think we've seen this one here. Oh, yes, we have. Yes, yeah, angrily pointing gun in the sky whilst looking uh, like you're a little bit constipated. Okay, next up. Oh, we've seen this square off as well. Vega versus Ryu, I think. And we've seen round one fight position from Guile 2. Final five incoming. Here we go. Another cut across your head. Out you come. Let's have a look. Boat. One of the many boat cards have repeated themselves. Uh, Frosty Fight. Well, that's going to be up there with possibly the most duplicated as well. Everyone trying to understand what Blank is saying? Dude, well, slow down. Speak clearer. We haven't had that one, though. So getting into the last five of cards, I definitely haven't seen. We have seen that. We have seen that. And we have a Kicking Cami. I think I mentioned that before. But uh, air on the side of caution. That one looks... New. Oh, Christ. Yeah, bring a snake to a party where, where where people are clearly scared of it. Look at Jean-Claude. Like, yeah, nothing scares this dude. Yeah, give me the snake. Definitely haven't seen that one. Oh, the nice everyone. The whole cast photo, which I've, I've already seen. And I, I spoke about before. Because I said, is it card 90? It turned out to be 88. How's your memory? Bang on. He says after he's forgotten about seeing about 10, 20 cards at least once okay getting emotional we've only got three more left after this another guile movie pose in front of some machine which uh yeah does something clearly does something important that could prevent or make the world blow up so that goes in the pile of cards i think i need i haven't seen this fight scene either that's why you there taking on a whole prison potentially that's um, not very secure because it's made up of bamboo. Okay, who we got here? T-Hawk. I remember saying something about T-Hawk in front of the Zangief's stage, I think. But some of these cards are so similar. So it could I could have seen it already, but I don't know. Okay. Oh, I remember joking about everyone hiding behind that bush. And Charlie striking that pose. So we've had that. 
Uh, yeah, just remember talking about you on your stage and talking about you in front of, in front of your stage. Oh, for God's sake. How many times have we done that? How many times have we done that? Same card in a pack twice. Really? Shouldn't be allowed. Is it too late to complain? I know it was made in 1994, but we're uh, still under 30 years old. I can still send them back, right? Huh? Okay, let's have a look. I don't think I've seen this scene. I'm not entirely sure. Card number three, Ransom Countdown Begins. Not sure. So I say there's definitely at least 90 cards in that pile. I'll put some in that over over once. Oh, another boat. Another boat blow with something blowing up next to it. Yes, boat cards. They really have got them. Oh, oh I think I, we did see this one, didn't we? We did see this one. Precautionary aired. <laughs> Bison's about to get a kick in the chest. Not entirely sure. I think we have. Is that oh, oh I thought for a minute we were a little bit shiny there, but we're not. Cami, Kylie. Uh possibly seen that one. Another striker pose. We have seen that. We have seen that. Is that two cars stuck together again? That blanket. These cars that have this graphic on the back, they those graphics are actually really nice. I do like those. Special moves, electricity. He has more than one, you know. What about the blanket roll? There we go. And there he is with that rather odd-shaped growth on his head that we mentioned before. Okay. Oh, we've only got two left. We've only got two left. Let's try and cut that one as well. There we go. And we've had Report Chun Li. We've seen that. We have had this, no doubt, he says. Oh, yes, we have. We had that big lift in that mask in the sky like that before. We have definitely had that card as well, that behind the scenes. And then we've seen a few T-Hawk cards. But like I say, yeah, this graphic, special moves. The Hawk slash Storm Hammer. So, yes, yeah, we've had that one before. We've had that Channel Strike pose before. How many times have you done this? I really should have kept count. How many times have you done that? Okay, the Temple, I have definitely seen. Another behind the scenes. I have seen that one as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. The final pack. The final pack. I wonder if I can open this normally, he says. Or is he just going to get scissors out? Scissors. Hi. There we go. <laughs> Can, yeah, this would have added like another half an hour onto this half an hour video if I'd have tried to open it like that. So, here we go. We have another boat. If why we had three angles of this boat. This boat was very key and important to the film. However, I can't remember it to remember if that boat was that important. So it must have been. But I'm going to go with I've seen that boat before. And then we're going to go with a card that I've not seen before in the final pack. It's a little bit worrying. Because we generally might not have an entire pack here. I remember speaking about this card and, and, and noticing the growth on the head a lot more. Oh dear. Yes, there we go. Oh, there's the actor's name. Look at that. Or is it the actor's name? Uh, we've had this because, yes, it's a levitating bison. Do you know, I haven't had this Ryu card. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. What number are you? 51. There we go. Striking a pose on the back there as well. You can go in that pile. Oh, we've had that Sawada card. We've had a Borah card, but again, some of these pose cards just appear to be very similar. And we have already had one checklist. So how ironic that we've opened up all these packs and then been supplied with a checklist at the end. As if to say, now you need to make sure you've got them all and buy another 20 packs. I'm not buying another 20 packs. We're going to see how many we've got and if I indeed have a full set. I was going to say, these cards, they've been interesting to open, but... As far, as far as Special Effects and Limited Edition goes, I may have picked up a Limited Edition I've, I've missed potentially by looking at the back and saying Ellie and the number in the back. But we only got one Special Effects card by the looks of it. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have a jump cut and see if we have an entire set. This is a pile that I'm assuming is only one off, but there is definitely some that I've been precautious with and thrown another one in to make sure that I didn't miss out. But these are the duplicates. We're going to see which one I have the most duplicate of as well. So excuse me while I just pop this over here and we have a jump cut. And back again. So 
how did we do did we get a full set this is the pile of one-offs so one of each card that i got this is the pile of doubles so if i was to tell you in this pile here there are 81 doubles that will tell you sadly there isn't 90 here there is only 75 so i am missing 15 of the cards which are 11 18 22 32 37 39 42 54 56 69 73 74 80 85 and 89 isn't my memory amazing or do i just have some notes slightly off screen so yes we are missing 15 of them which is which is uh, mildly disappointing i've got to be honest with you i i out of 160 cards i was expecting perhaps to maybe just about touch the 80s potentially but in my errors but actually before we talk about my errors just want to say the most duplicated card let's go through the numbers here at the back was number 23 which i got an additional five of he says if we can actually get them out yes yeah, so this fight scene here an additional five of those there was the most duplicated we'll put them back in the place already another funny thing i noticed is the sawada these character cards which obviously have the original characters original portraits drawn on the back here the sawada card because obviously he was made for the film or the character was introduced into the film doesn't have one just a giant blue question mark which i thought was a little bit amusing so we've got 75 out of the 90 will i try and track down the other cards potentially uh, become a little bit of a completionist when you buy this many i must admit but the special effects cards i pointed out one as we was going along but i didn't realize i missed another three so this was a this is sf1 card as said on the back sf1 it's a little bit of a story pause if you wish to read which is this foil effect and notice all of these special effects cards are kind of versus cards so we've got guile versus m bison and this card, which I flicked past and just thought it was part of the base set, is indeed also a foil card, Ryu versus Vega. And we'll put the story there for you to pause. And as you'll see, this is SF4. So we already know I haven't got all of the SF cards, because we're up to four already, and I have four of them. This card here, which I did actually bring up during the start of the video there, we've got Honda versus Zangief in their little cuddle dive. And this is sf5 there's a story again for you to pause and potentially read if you so desire and then the last sf sfx card ryu versus sagat that age-old battle which left him scarred on the chest for life through a dragon punch so there we go and that is sf7 so i don't know how many of the sf cards are they don't say not on the checklist either but there we go, there's another story there for you to pause and potentially read if you so desire. So we got, if you count the special effects cards, we've got no limited edition, so they are clearly very limited edition. But if you count the special effects cards, I got 79 different cards, 75 of the base, I got 81 doubles and it was just a good thing that i did go through the doubles and check them again because i did actually put one card in this pile that i didn't put in this pile in the original video as well so it was good that i number ordered all of them like that just to make sure i hadn't missed any so we will probably buy ourselves a little binder and we will try and track down the other 15 somehow hopefully i can find them on ebay and just buy the numbers i need because now i want to complete it God knows what I'm going to do with this stack here. I don't know. Perhaps give them away somehow. Maybe in some kind of giveaway. I don't generally like doing giveaways on the channel. But at the same time, I don't want to waste these. And I want somebody else to potentially enjoy them. Who knows what people enjoy. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a lot of fun. I do enjoy opening packs of cards. I may try and find another way or another series to do this sort of video on because i do generally get a lot of enjoyment out of this i hope you did too thank you very much for watching please do comment below i love a bit of genuine interaction so yes thank you very much for watching and as always take care still here well, I know I said at the end of the video I do not like doing giveaways and that's only because I worry that it could be perceived as fishing for subs and I'm not that kind of channel. But if you're this far into the video and for some reason you are still watching then I guess you already are a subscriber 
and you just deserve a medal anyway so yes i don't know what to do with this car so i do want to give some of these away so all i really ask you to do is in the comment section below write a comment but at, in the comment also just say my favorite street fighter 2 character is so i know you've seen this part and then what i'll do is i'll find one of those random comment generators to randomly generate a comment for three winners the first one obviously you get the biggest stack of cards because some cards are only duplicated once second we'll get the second biggest stack because some cards are only duplicated twice and then the third obviously will get the smaller stack because some are only duplicated three times as well and winners number one and two will have taken some cards that you can't get but anyway yeah just include who your favorite street fighter 2 character is i'll use the comment generator to throw up three names and well the first three names that have who this favorite street fighter 2 character is will have the chance to win and i say chance to win because all you really need to do is have a twitter handle or an instagram handle that you do not mind dm dming me privately your address so that i can send them to you that is all i really ask of you so it's just a chance to give away some of these cards because i don't know what to do with them don't want them to go to waste and as i say you may actually enjoy them as much as i do so ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching a little bit more good luck and as always take care